First of all, thank you to Mr. Guerrero really quick for letting us use this space for practices and rehearsal and uh, dress rehearsals and the final show, of course. Um, thank you to Luca, my assistant director over there, for her help as well. Um, I'm really, really excited for everyone to see the show. It's a comedy, so you guys can laugh, you know, kind of have something to laugh at if this is your first time back seeing a show, you know, do something to laugh at, which, which is why I really chose the show. Um, if you want to scan the the uh, codes in the back around the door um, after the show is over because there's no intermission it's only about 30 minutes long um, you can to see the cast bios and everything um, anything else I'm forgetting I don't think so um, I can't believe that all the chairs are filled up that's another really exciting thing um, <laughs> school and they're all very very excited as am I as a production staff and I'm actually going to be taking over for lights today because our lights coordinate, coordinator got sick but that's okay because I'm going to handle the lights today yeah. and it's going to be great so enjoy the show thank you so much again for coming and yeah just enjoy the show that's it Correctly. 
<laughs> and by correctly, you mean? Every time I hear a question, I hear a completely, a completely different one. <laughs> See, uh, how come I've never heard of this Ron of Questamixidus before? Eleanor Roosevelt, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, one second. I probably should have given this to you um, when we first started the interview, but I just wanted to I make mean, a big deal about it. Oh, Harold, I don't know what I can do exactly. An interview is primarily the asking of questions. <laughs> so if a deaf person just walked into your room, you'd be like, nope, sorry, buddy. Goodbye. No, I would make sure a translator fluent in sign language was able to aid the interview. Well, I am sorry that the AMA has not considered CQM as a legitimate mental condition, but I try to live my life as normal and as happy as possible. So I would appreciate it if you would treat me as any other prospective student. Yes. I suppose you're right. Uh, okay. Well, shall we continue? It's in Argentina, isn't it? <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> um, what extracurricular activities are you interested in? Uh, seventh grade, Melissa Blotch. We both had braces, and it was kind of awkward. <laughs> Get the flyers, Harold! <laughs> uh, well, what subjects do you like in school? Oh, I'll take South Pike Road, except during rush hour. What's your favorite color? Every Sunday for church. <laughs> is it just me, or is this completely pointless? I'm really sorry. I don't know anything about the Salivary plan. <laughs> okay, that went well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, me. Oh, do you need directions back to the I-40? Uh, Cookie Monster. Uh, I kind of have a thing for uh, googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? A little, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I can't be on that channel. 
Looks like you should have read the contract. If you don't do this, you'll be fined $20,000. 20000 20000 <laughs> Look, we're not asking you to do anything crazy, to do your job, ask a few questions, only out of your hair. I just gotta put your money where your mouth is, Marty Mar! No doubt. Oh, Marty. Come on, you trust him with a pencil, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, you're Brett. You're 30 minutes late. I know, I know. I got caught up with a conference call, a nightmare lunch meeting, and this girl I'm dating, blah, 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 you know. Well, it's very inconvenient for me. I have another prospective student. I know, I know. I got a meet and greet in a fiber, so let's just bulldoze through this thing, shall we? Okay, I guess we should start with, uh, what school, what, why are you interested in- You know what? Here? I'm gonna take the reins here and skip the whole U.S. questions part. <laughs> so here's me. I'm a self-motivator and I'm extremely competitive. I'm the life of the party. I like your school's aggressive economic program. It ties to Harvard Business School and its Greek social scene. I'm gonna pledge Alpha Phi Beta or Delta Chi Alpha, depending on the pledge class. My stats are well above your average, so let's make this happen. If you're in the boat, I'm driving the ship. Are we good? No, not at all. Cranberries, babe. <laughs> oh. What up, buttercup? Yeah, just had this lame face to face. I'm on my way. You kidding me? Nailed it. It's the Brett suit you're talking about here. <laughs> Thanks again for coming in on such short notice. Please, it was no trouble at all. So, tell me about yourself. Um, what subjects do you like at school? Do you have any hobbies? You know, stuff like that. Hobbies? I've had a few, I suppose. I used to really be into swimming, but 
okay? We don't have to. No. I want to talk about it. I need to. It was a blistering summer day. Bill Blakesmore, who keeps these local weathermen, said it was one of the hottest days in recorded history and advised us to stay in at all costs. <laughs> Swimming with my life, but life, it doesn't stop. I went, I went early to the swimming pool that day and got on my swimming suit and started my morning warm -up. It was during that that I, I, I saw him. Chilly autumn day. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
so hard sometimes, you know? <laughs> so, so this inspired you to be in a coma. <laughs>
and the entire audience is completely drenched. Oh, oh man, wow. Oh, needless to say, that was the last time I ever went to SeaWorld. <laughs> oh, I, got, I gotta tell you that everything looks great. Solid SATs, GPA high above our school's average, and your essay, to be quite honest, was moving. Well, this is such a great university. I'd be honored to attend. Hey, well, we'd be lucky to have you. Have you applied to any other schools? Nope, just here. Oh, okay, great, great. <laughs> so? Uh, yes. I'm in then. Oh, well, no. I, I gotta pass this along to my supervisors. <laughs> Uh, it's a process, you know? We can't Sit just... down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sit down, won't you? <laughs> Is there a uh, problem? You see, that depends on you. <laughs> For reasons I can't entirely explain to you at the moment, there are re it is vital that I attend this university. Years of SAT prep, AP classes, all in the hopes of being accepted. I was intending to hear an answer today. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have the authority to just let you in right now. There are forces at play here, friend. <laughs> forces that you cannot possibly comprehend. <laughs> but trust me, it is very vital. Not just for me, but for the entire student body and faculty that I have enrolled for the fall semester. Many lives hang in the balance. <laughs> you don't want to be held responsible for the loss of a life, do you? <laughs> Of course not, but how is me letting you in today going to save lives? The world is a series of connections and plans. Every human being affects another. Every decision has a consequence. And this decision, this decision, will be the most important you'll ever make. <laughs> ben, you're being incredibly vague. And besides, it's not as simple as me letting you in. An oral agreement is legally binding in this state. So in fact, it is that simple. What I can tell you is that it's practically a done deal. I'm going to give you a great recommendation with your stats. That's not what I'm asking. For. <laughs> okay. It's not ruined. It was a great interview, but I'm not leaving until I get my answer. Well, you're going to have to because I have another perspective coming in at one. No, you don't. Your four o'clock canceled this morning. You don't have another appointment until Rebecca Smith at four forty-five. <laughs> How did you? Did you break into my email? Okay. You know what? I'm not really sure what's happening here, but I'm going to have to call security. Hello? Hello? Phone troubles? <laughs> <laughs> Door's locked. <laughs> and we're 10 stories up, so the win windows wouldn't be a very safe option either. <laughs> Who are you? A name is but a label. <laughs> Many labels. But that's not what's important right now. What's important is that you tell me right now exactly what I was hoping to hear. Ben, if I could, I would. It's just. <laughs> what's wrong, friend? Okay, <laughs> now it's circuits break all the time. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing this. You're doing this. And it can all go away with three little words. But it won't. No! Those aren't the right words! <laughs> say it! Just say it! Okay, okay, you've been accepted, you've been accepted. You'll be enrolled in the fall semester upon hearing of your acceptance. Oh man, that's great. I gotta call my mom. I can't even tell you how. It was so nice to meet you. <laughs>
check the card underneath your seat. Rules are out of like Texas Hold'em. <laughs> Hey, that's actually my card. Really? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try this. Pick a number between one and five thousand. No. Uh, first, tell me your favorite color, and then pick a number. <laughs>